What's happening everyone? My name is Phil with PrecisionLED.com and today we have a 2008 Scion TC we'll be installing LED into your lights on. Now this is compatible with all first generation Scion TCs, that's the year models 2004 through 2010. Before we get started, um, if you could like or subscribe to our social media accounts, that'd be really helpful for us. We're on YouTube, obviously, Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter. Today we'll be installing LED interior lights on our map lights, the rear dome lights, trunk light, license plate light, as well as the backup reverse lights. Let's go ahead and get started. Now every Precision LED kit comes with three interior trim tools to help with your installation, and that's included. We have a crowbar shaped tool with uh, forks on it, a straighted knife tool, and a pointed wedge tool. And these tools help you perform the installation without damaging the interior of the vehicle with some malleable plastic ends. So, to get access to this overhead console to replace the two front overhead map lights, as well as the overhead dome light in the front, we're using the forks on this crowbar shaped tool. You're gonna be accessing from here and here, inserting the tool and just prying back to release each side. And as you can see, these two are the guiding pins and these are the pressure clips that hold this in place. Now that we have access to the bulbs, you can just use your hands to remove the bulbs. Or if you need to, you can use a pair of pliers to get better grip. Now that you see the sockets, we're gonna be replacing them with our 5730 style LEDs, which is our premium version of the kit. We have both a standard and a premium version. If you wanna see the difference between the two, the premiums are about twice as bright, but they are a little bit more expensive. Now these bulbs are not polarity specific. They have circuitry to know which side is supposed to be positive and negative. So they're always pretty much just gonna work. If you have a different type of LED bulb, say our standard 50-50 SMD kit, you'll have to make sure that you have them plugged in the right way. If they don't turn on initially, you want to take a look at the bulb, make sure these leads here are pointing towards the outside for good contact, as well as plugged in with the right polarity. Now that we know the bulbs are working, we're just going to reinsert the lens cover. That goes in with these guiding pins here first in the front, and then just a little bit of pressure clicks them back into place. We're going to show you now how to access the rear dome lens cover to replace the bulb. We're going to again use the fork shaped tool. Um, or the forks from the crowbar tool. And you're accessing from this front section here to release the lens cover. Again, you're putting the tool in between the overhead lining and the lens cover and just prying it loose like that. That's one side, do the other side here. And there you go. Now when you reinstall, you want to make sure that these two portions here in the back are inserted first as guiding points, and then you push this lens cover back up and pop it in place. We're going to you now use the pointed wedge tool to remove this festoon type bulb. Just makes it a little bit easier. We're going to pull back on this metal clip here, and the bulb should just pop right out. Now, this halogen bulb in particular has these flattened ends right here. And if these flat ends aren't pointing north, south, or up or down, it gets stuck in this clip that has a vertical slit. So you just want to make sure that you are rotating this bulb. If it's horizontal, you're rotating it vertical so it'll come out. The new LED bulb doesn't have those flattened edges, so it just goes in. Now so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to use a pair of pliers, but we're putting in one side on the stationary clip here, and then bending this back to get the bulb in. There you go. 
you want to make sure that the LEDs are pointed down or else when you turn the bulb on it's not actually going to push the light or point the light in the right direction so you always want to make sure that these are facing the direction you want it to be in now that we have it in we can go and put the lens cover back on again remember these two sections here, the guiding pins go in first, then you click the front in. That's what it looks like. We're here at the trunk light. I'm going to show you how to access the bulb and replace it with an LED. We're going to be using the pointed side of our serrated knife tool here, inserting in from the side where the switch is, and prying out. Now as you can see there's this gray cover that you're going to use the flat end of the serrated knife tool just to put in between and pry out and then you have access to the halogen bulb. Now I'm going to use the pliers on this so that you can see better what I'm doing but when you grab the bulb you want to put pressure against the side that moves here, push it back and that will get the bulb out. Now the bulb we're replacing with it is slightly larger, it's a 29 versus a 31 millimeter bulb. So to make sure the fitment is good, well let's first remove our connector here. We're going to take this small metal piece, bend it back slightly, and if you take a look and see what I've done here. We bent this back just a little, and on the bottom, we bent it forward just a little. Now when the bulb goes in, it will have a nice recessed area to sit in. You want to make sure that this bulb is facing down, so the board is facing outward. And we'll plug it in just to test to see what it looks like. Now that we know it works, take the lens cover, pop it back in, just like that. And when we insert it back in, the side where the connector goes in first, and then you push it down right there. We're looking here at one of the license plate covers on the rear trunk on the interior. There's actually two. One on each side, here and here. In order to access, there is a small indentation here to allow you to flip that panel down and you have direct access to the license plate bulb. From here, we remove the connector. And this is gonna turn counterclockwise. This is a bulb assembly. Use the pliers just so you can get a better view. remove the halogen bulb, put an LED in. We're using a standard 50-50 style SMD LED because the premiums are a little bit too long to fit inside this housing. Just put the new bulb in. Get it settled in first. And then we can use the pliers Now that you have that in place, the connector goes in. It's important to note that because these are standard LED bulbs, the polarity is specific. Fortunately for the Scion, you have a connector that is reversible. So it can go in in the top. You would test the light to see if it works or not. If it doesn't, you will just remove this connector, flip it upside down, and it fits in upside down as well. Once you have Confirm the light works, we replace the lens cover and put it back on. We're looking now at the backup reverse light, or at least the tail light uh, wiring access panel. There is a small clip here, just pushing it in with your thumb and pulling it out like that. 
Now, for the backup reverse light, there are three lights in this tail light. Uh, you have your two brake lights and then your backup reverse light. The backup reverse light is actually recessed up in here uh, in the upper right or left hand corner depending on if you're the driver's side or passenger side. We're just going to adjust the camera so you can see up in here but it's a very difficult shot to show. If you can see it visually when you're doing this installation, all you're doing is turning the bulb counterclockwise, removing the uh, connector and replacing that halogen bulb with an LED and then putting it back together. So let's see if we can get you that shot. We're now looking at the inside here of the tail light. And right up in here, right there is where the backup reverse light is. Now you can use your hands, you're turning counterclockwise here. It's pretty hard to show you. But the bulb does come out. Placing it with one of our LEDs and we're gonna go ahead and put it back in nice and tight lens cover back in place and that's the end of the installation if you have any questions or concerns please email us at help at precisionled.com or you can reach us online and submit a support ticket at www.precisionled.com slash contact. Now, like we said before, please like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video or enjoyed the process for what we do. It really does help us out when we make the next one knowing that there's people out there watching the videos. Have a good one.